In one of my previous videos, I talked about a few options I would do if I were to start a Bobo brand in 2024. I gave two options. One was, you know, doing a bunch of farmers market events and the second one was to open up a shop. There's actually a third option that I completely forgot about. So this one will be, hey Boba gang. So as I was alluding to earlier, there's actually a third option I would pick. And this is the one that I've been thinking about for a while. It's something that should actually have been number two in the easy segue to the third option, which was to open up your Boba shop. And it's, it's kind of like the best of both worlds where you know, if you like doing events or festivals and you want to have something that's a little bit more established but not tied down like a shop would have been, then I think this would be a pretty good one. It's also a very expensive one. However, it is an option. The true second choice would be to have a Boba truck or Boba bus, whatever is the preferred vehicle or transportation. So for this, it will basically be getting like either ice cream truck or maybe retrofitting a FedEx van or maybe even a school bus, turn that into a bubble truck. So in that one, I'll just kept things pretty simple, be able to make, you know, of course, any drink that I want to make, specifically more with like perhaps teas and juices. Maybe if we had the space in it, depending on, you know, which size vehicle you have, you could do an espresso machine as well. And of course, having a blender would be nice. And the one I'll probably pick for that one would be like my Vitamix blender that I been using at a lot of my events and of course at the shop so having a truck would be fantastic because one a lot of the events they normally don't have a bowl with truck so there's a very unique opportunity for most folks another example will be be able to go it was like music festivals and you'll be able to take your bowl with truck over there and be able to be out for like you know two or three days bobo trucks are a pretty good idea for this one i'll definitely recommend checking out the type of cities you're going to be operating in see if they have dimension size so for instance in the dmv that's the dc metro area dc maryland virginia for those that are not familiar with that terminology in virginia and maryland you could have your truck be 20 feet long that's perfectly fine but you won't be able to operate it in DC. DC requires the kitchen to be a maximum 10 feet long. And there's a few other stipulations there too, but general, that's the maximum height you, you could have for it. And some of the other ones would be like, you know, only have one propane tank. So definitely check whichever cities you want to operate in and see what their requirements are. So if you're going to be in, let's say somewhere like, you know, California, I'm sure the laws that they have in LA will, you know, change greatly from San Diego, from Orange County and so forth. If you were to operate somewhere in, let's say, Texas, it's Texas. They're going to let you do whatever you want. You probably could have a 50-foot truck, and they probably would be okay with it. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All my Texans out there, I'm joking. Where am I? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I think this will be a perfect idea for those who want to be able to, you know, change up scenery pretty often, not be stuck in one location, and be able to go out and meet new people in different areas. Uh, what do you think of this idea? Is it something you would like? You know, let me know. Like, type it down in the comments. All right, have a great day. Peace.